My name is M Enterprises, and for many years I've been a fan of comic book superheroes. Obsessed even, but that obsession came with a price. Idiocy, degeneracy, lack of common sense, criminally insane behavior are just some of the few elements that are within the comic book fandom across all social medias. Your typical gatekeepers, your scoopers, the mentally ill who like to inject their own ideals into something that doesn't exist, annoying Marvel fans, all these niggas got me messed up and I'm done playing. Ah, uh, superheroes. We all love them, right? They inspire us to do what's right. Whether it's a show, comic book, a movie, video game, superhero medium has the capacity to bring together millions of fans across the globe. But with that in mind, you also have some of the most vile, disrespectful, idiotic numbskulls whose worth in life equivalent to just literal garbage that are infesting the current landscape of the comic book genre. But unfortunately, that's what we're here to talk about. Even though superheroes on a surface level can be really fun to talk about and communicate with other people, they can also just bring out some of the worst and mo and a lot of people not most but the, a lot of these you know minority of people can be really annoying especially if there's such a vocal minority that sometimes the general populace will think this is representative of a lot of superhero fans kind of like anime so the first group of annoying people i really want to get off my chest is the scoopers or leakers if you so call it these people really are detrimental to the current landscape of the comic book talk online and why it's filled with such disdain basically what they do is that they'll give like the latest scoop or leak or you know something to invoke a very spry reaction out of the fandom and like 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent of the time maybe even it's full of crap they just they literally just make stuff up and yet some fans are gullible enough to believe them on a regular basis to the point where on twitter they just have such a large following and these people just genuinely serve no purpose to better the talk or community of superhero slash comic book fans because on one hand if what they say isn't true or if 90 percent of it is just bs rumors then you're just lying you're just spreading a bunch of false information that people are taking for granted but then on the other hand if you actually are a reliable source guess what you're still a douchebag because you're just spoiling a bunch of stuff for upcoming tv shows and movies i mean look back at like maybe phase two of marvel or like 2013 or maybe like pre endgame pre no way home stuff like that where like we could just go into a combo movie blind for the most part outside of what the company would like show us through like clips and teasers and whatnot this really started to become like a trendy thing since like no way home that was like the really big thing and it's just been non-stop ever since then all right here comes the other big one and probably the most prevalent one when you think of toxic superhero fans the snyder cultists now one thing i want to get off the air right quick is that there's actually a difference between like your average snyder fan and like your diehard cultist on twitter you see a snyder fan is actually chill surprisingly enough like if it's you're just an average person who likes Zack snyder's stuff on the dc universe that's perfectly fine fine ain't nothing wrong with that i've seen plenty of people across the space where just you know your average joes you know your chill individuals that you can actually talk to that seem like they're just you know passionate fans about snyder support the movement and all that and to be honest i actually kind of feel bad for them because the snyder cult is just really gave the average snyder populace a bad rep to be honest these people are fanatics they just obsess over everything that snyder does they treat him like jesus almost as much as he treats superman in his movies it's like any negative thing any critique any nitpick that goes to what's slider they just come at you like a herd and for the record if you are a snyder fan do not get offended by this because i'm not talking about you but <laughs> if you are then maybe you should reprioritize what you deem inappropriate or reassess what should offend you or not and they just go out of their way to like disrespect or give crap to any dc related project in theatrical live action that has nothing to do with snyder or steps out of his vision whether it's a more lighthearted tone or if it's a different director and some of this anger obviously i can understand you know since wb did Zack snyder so wrong in the past and you know what they did with henry cavill and like with all the actors i can get that but like some of these things they just won't let go like the restore the snyderverse movement or even worse make the bat flag movie bros in his 50s i'm pretty sure he is more than exemplified the fact that he is done with this universe same thing for snyder i feel like snyder has also moved on like if you want to go support him that's more than you're more than capable of doing that in a healthy manner instead of making these ai generated freaking campaigns for warner brothers to sell the snyderverse to netflix <clears throat> all y'all going to hell what? you right there hell you hell you hell 
Yeah, I said it. Who are you to tell me where I'm going? For real? Who am I? No, my son, who are you? You are a sinner. Like, bro, y'all folk are smoking d Like, if you want to look up the legal definition of copium, like, the Snyder fan base will be right next to them in the textbook definition. These people honestly make me embarrassed to call myself a DC fan or a fan of anything DC related. I've seen some of the herds or the leaders of this group go after certain celebrities or actors or directors and argue with them on Twitter. Like, do you have nothing better to do? So you chose dick riding. Hmm. Now, this next who can be generalized to like a lot of people, and there's a lot of like subcategories of this specific group within the community, but that's, you know, the normies, more specifically, more pertaining to the MCU. These people are literally just like your average person who has never picked up a comic book, but is a huge fan of like the comic book movies, mainly pertaining to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They'll just say the most brain dead takes without any information or evidence to back it up because it's just trendy or popular to say. It's like, oh, the DC brand's always been been bad or this character is so powerful i can't wait for dr doom to kill thanos in secret wars even though i've never read the book very disingenuous over the top reactions to current mcu news or updates trailers ah, let's go i'm pretty sure a lot of this can be dumbed down to like the uh comic book tiktokers i don't know too much about what they do specifically because i'm not on there thank god but i can tell you for a fact that about like 70 percent of them don't actually read the source material yet they still get invited to the world premiere somehow this is also where the uh, quote unquote stands come into play. Like, it's kind of like similar to Snyder stands, but in like the difference being beer is that they're just so out of the loop on what they're actually quote unquote standing for. Like, these WandaVision stands, their sense of logic is basically just non existent. It's like, oh, but Wanda did was right. It's like, yeah, I bro. Enslaving an entire ton of innocent people just so you can have some robotic vibranium AI generated boy toy in your non existent children definitely is worth the lives or sanity of innocent people yeah sure bro you niggas is just retarded <laughs> they also drop these like really cringe annoying edits or compilations of like their favorite celebrity actor fictional character in the reply section of just that no one asked for i'm like oh my god thanks for the views it's like dog nobody cares we don't care let me tell you right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care move on you're not special no one cares about what you do you are a worthless bitch ass nigga your life literally is as valuable as a summer ant. And like, I really wonder with like these people that like hop on the trends of anything that's popping, like if they have any sense of independence or opinion, because you see them that they only say something if it's popular. It's like, oh yeah, I was always a part of this the whole time. It's like, oh, they'll hop on like maybe a Spider-Verse bandwagon or be like, yeah, uh, superhero fatigue. Um, uh, yeah, you know, I'm really getting tired of these uh, Marvel movies. You've been sucking dick all day. We need to pop it out of your mouth right now. And I'm definitely not going to be the last person to say this, but superhero fatigue has never and will probably for a long time never exist. There's no such thing as superhero fatigue at the current landscape, just fatigue from mediocrity. Of course, people are going to get tired of mediocre superhero movies, not specifically superheroes themselves. Case in point, Shonen Jump anime or manga. A lot of these shonen follow the same story beats with like the hero's journey. Like how many of these shonen have a tournament arc? But people don't get tired of it because they actually have good writing. Same needs to be applied with either future DC or Marvel movies. If they call it follow the same formula and if you feel like you've seen this movie 10 times, guess what? People aren't going to pull up. Look at the box office for these recent movies. And the thing that's probably the most annoying about these specifically normie MCU fans is that they expect way too much. These are the same people that expected like 50 dozen cameos of Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness it's like these people like any sense of maturity and like any mature themes that will somewhat i'm assuming eventually be present in future mcu movies they'll just be baffled by and with a lot of mcu fans this might sound weird to say but they're not really marvel fans if that makes sense it's like the fandom that specifically you know obsesses over the mcu it's like a branch off of the marvel lore but it's not the same because like i said before most of these people have never picked up a comic book and aren't really well versed in like anything that has never been introduced in the mcu like i guarantee you a lot of these people they know who the fantastic four and x-men are but they probably don't know much about them or their lore because guess what they haven't been introduced in the mcu yet a lot of these folk on like tiktok or prominent social media probably joined on the bandwagon around like end game time like i guarantee you most of these people have not joined in like phase one or even phase two to be generous and to clarify i'm not gatekeeping being a marvel fan that's stupid all i'm saying is that there's like you can't go up to an average mcu fan and expect them like you can't ask them a question or have a conversation about anything comic related or even anything outside of the mcu like maybe an obscure animated show 
And I'd highly encourage these people to learn more about the Marvel Universe instead of just hopping on the bandwagon of the MCU. Because the MCU doesn't always get it right sometimes. But I guess a lot of that you can't really blame on the fandom itself considering that the MCU is so admin and hellbent on not really properly adapting the source material to the point where they will make sure not to hire any creatives or writers that are familiar with the source material. Now obviously I didn't cover every single toxic superhero fan on the internet like we'd be here forever. Which is why I might make a video like this in the future without we'll the wait and see. Like a part two or something all i hope is for the future that these fans will actually get a brain for once and just relax for any of their obsessive nature over fictional characters because my god i can't take it anymore